All right. Um, you know, it's been a while since we've had the last Bridgerton. Um, when did you realize Bridgerton was the talk of the world? Everybody was talking about it. Well, it's crazy. I think you make a show, you have no idea if anyone is going to watch it. It came out on Christmas Day and then I got stressed and I'm used to doing touring theater where like 10 people might show up if you're lucky. So I was like, oh, I don't know if anyone's going to watch it. And then the day after Christmas, it sort of started popping up here and there and everywhere. And then it was just like a runaway train. I couldn't believe like it was number one in like almost every country in the world. I was like, this was not what I thought was going to happen. It was amazing. Do, do you have a story of when the first time somebody random noticed you? Oh, gosh. Um, I had, well, I, as I was pretty much in a lockdown, hadn't really left the house very much at all. <laughs> and I went into the center of London, into Covent Garden, um, to the Apple store. And I was getting my AirPods fixed. <laughs> and then this one girl went, oh my God, are you Lady Whistledown? And I was like, yes, yes. And then I sort of went out into Covent Garden and then these people started looking at me going, oh! and I was like, oh, that's new, that's that's different. And I sort of got really overwhelmed and had to sort of jump in a taxi and come home. Cause I was like, oh, okay. Cause I think on your own, it's like a lot. You're like, well, okay. Well, yeah, Lady Whistledown was a shock anyway. Um, you know, you re why did you reveal to yourself? Uh, in season one? Yes. I think, well, I think the writers decided to reveal her because they, they knew where they wanted to take it in season two. They knew they wanted to bring the audience sort of behind the curtain and, and find out what was going on. And I think often in TV shows, when you keep, um, when there's like a character with a secret identity, when you keep it for too long, it's never as satisfying yeah. as you want it to be. So I feel like yeah. it, was, it was the right call for them because it's so fun then to get to go to the underworld of London with her and then watch her at the balls, like viewing everything and finding everything out. So yeah, it was it was great fun. That's right. Well, the costume is always top notch um, and it's it's amazing. Which which one would you steal from the show? Is it the yellow dress? Uh, no yellow dresses. I think I have another. <laughs> There's one really beautiful pink dress I wear this season uh, to the Bridgerton Country Ball and it's completely beaded. It weighs an absolute ton. But there's just so much work and detailing that has gone into it. When I first tried it on, it was one of the first dresses I tried on for this season. And I fell in love with it completely. Wow. Wow. Now now you're back for season two. What was, what was it like meeting again? It was amazing. It was really amazing. We started filming in March 2021. We hadn't seen each other at all since the show had come out. So to be back together was really joyful. And also we were excited because we knew that this this the book that season two is based on is a huge fan favorite book yes. um, so we were like okay well we're getting to tell that story which we know the audience loves so amazing mm. all right so what's what's the what's the perfect time oh i mean sorry so what's what's your favorite part for being able to try and travel into a different era you know you go back to that era then you go back to this time what's the what's the best thing about it I think the best thing about it is how immersive it can be because this isn't a show that relies on a green screen or, you know, suspending your disbelief that much because you walk into a room, you have hundreds of extras, you know, all in these breathtaking costumes. You have, you know, a string quartet. You have, you know, these dancers yeah. and these amazing waltzes. It really does make you go, whoa, you sometimes do feel like you've been transported back into the past. It's so cool. Wow. So there was a group WhatsApp called Bridger 2. So what's yeah. the plan for... For number three, is it three a thon? Three a ton? Okay, that's a good. I haven't. I I I I've set up. I think both WhatsApp groups is how nerdy I am. Yeah, three. 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 three I don't know. I'll have Bridget to. Three. Bridget three. I'll have to think about it. Think about but it. Not well, yet. It's it's um summertime. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's been so nice talking to you, and I hope everything goes well. And I can't wait to watch the show. Um, oh, thank so, you so much. Yeah, take care, and thank you so much. Take care. Bye.